Hi everyone, I've covered the war in Yemen quite a bit on my channel. I've covered the humanitarian crisis over there. Um, over a million people contracted cholera in 2017 alone. That's the largest outbreak of cholera in history. 60% of those are children. That's 600,000 children with cholera. It's just in 2017. That's without all the people who have contracted it this year as well. And the fighting is getting worse. Covered stories such as this, where in the largest humanitarian crisis on the planet, 22 million people in Yemen, of which 8 million are on the brink of starvation right now. Uh, the Saudis go and bomb a, a Yemen cholera treatment centre. And obviously the UK and the US are heavily involved in this. We provide the intelligence on the targets. We refuel the planes on their way back. We supply, we supply the weapons and we supply the bombs that are fired on these targets, weddings and funerals and cholera, cholera treatment centres. Uh, the media, they don't tend to cover it at all. They tend to cover <laughs> stories like this. MSNBC has done 455 Stormy Daniels segments in the last year, but none on the United States' war in Yemen. None at all. Uh, this is the most recent revelation that I found. I've talked about the the port in Yemen, Hodeida, which is the, the, the main port in Yemen, 80% plus of all the food and medicine that goes into the Yemen goes through that port and there is fighting surrounding the port uh, right now. They're trying to keep the humanitarian effort going um, and they're doing some good work in trying to get it um, get aid through, but there is a war going on and it's extremely difficult. Um, and as this article says, I'm not going to read the, the whole of this article, I just want to draw your attention to the bottom there. It actually says this, airstrikes earlier this week near a reproductive health centre and public laboratory in Hodeida also hit and damaged a sanitation facility and water station in the Zabib neighbourhood. The water station supplies the majority of the water to the whole city. Um, so not only are we causing the largest outbreak of cholera in history, but we're also bombing the treatment centres in that country for cholera, and then we're bombing the water treatment stations as well. And as we know, cholera is largely affected by, and largely spread by, dirty water. This is horrific. It really is. Um, I do want to point out there is one, of the, one outlet I've found, there may be others that are covering this now, Channel 4, have covered it. And it says there, the United Nations says there are 22 million people in Yemen who are in need of humanitarian assistance, 22 million, and 8 million are facing starvation. This is the largest humanitarian crisis on the planet. And that's what people are talking about in the media. Stormy Daniels. It breaks my heart, it really does. If you're from Britain or America, uh, our countries are involved in this. We're causing this crisis. Um, doesn't it make you proud of your country? And people wonder why trust in the news, the mainstream news, is at an all-time low. Well, this is why. It's because they're not covering anything of any importance. They're only covering up for the government's crimes abroad and at home. Good for channels like mine though. If you enjoyed this video, please click the bell down there and subscribe um, so you get a notification of next time I drop a video. Also, I can't do this without your help, so if you can afford it and you enjoy my videos, please support the channel by uh, subscribing to my Patreon. Link is down there. You can do it for as little as $1 a month and it really does help. If you can't afford it, that's fine. Please share my work and talk to other people about uh, the issues that I bring up. Thanks very much for your support. Until next time, peace and take care.